Stay awesome, bro. Hello everyone, my name is Anthony and welcome back to the vlog theory. I've been alive for 7,550 days. I am nearing 21 years old and for 1,920 of those days, 25% of the time I've been alive, Felix, better known as PewDiePie here on the internet, was number one most subscribed on YouTube. Believe it or not, he was number one for five years years you know thinking about it it went by so fast but that actually is a quarter of my life for all of us og youtubers and i don't mean just like creators you know i've been using the platform since 2007 just two years after it had become a thing and now it's 2019 you know i've spent a majority of my life online no other generation has done that in the way that we have, in the way that we grew up. I was born in 1998 and Google was born that same year. You were able to make a Google search the same time that I was being born. A little after its creation, Google bought YouTube and has owned it ever since. And they've built it into what it is today. But I'm going to be honest in saying that YouTube hasn't felt like YouTube since, you know, I'd say around 2012 or 2013. The, the OG time from like 2005 to around then was was like almost dreamlike. I, I don't know how to describe it. There was a true sense of, of creativity and YouTube's old slogan, broadcast yourself. It really meant something. Like all of us had our own unique TV channels, our own unique TV shows where we could upload whatever we wanted. And eventually YouTube became more business-like. They didn't really care about the single creator but cared more about the advertisers and how much money they were making. There have only been 11 number one most subscribed channels and some doing it multiple times. Felix doing it the most four times being the number one most subscribed channel. And in my books and all of our books, the number one most subscribed single creator on the platform because, you know, T-Series doesn't really count. I'm, I'm truly thankful to have been born right now at the, you know, start of the internet, the start of the World Wide Web. You know, it's only been around for 30-ish for years, you know, 40 years or so of being able to share information digitally and store information digitally. We don't think about it a lot, but archaeologists today study you know, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of years in the past, millions of years in the past. There will be future archaeologists that will study the early internet, will study early meme culture, will study early YouTube, and everything that we know of today, and everything that we don't know of today. All under the assumption that all of this will still exist, but that's beside the point. This is just the beginning. Of media. Maybe this exact video will be watched in a thousand years from now and I'll have no idea. Maybe there will be digital museums showing the early advancements of the internet, early websites, and the, the hundreds of millions, per perhaps billions of videos on YouTube. I know I've kind of gone into a little tangent, but that's kind of what PewDiePie hitting 100 million subs made me feel. I feel reminiscent. I, I feel uh, a little nervous to what the future will hold, and uh, I'm feeling quite grateful to have been able to watch him from around my age to now 29 and, and married, and being one of the most influential creators on the internet and in all of our nine-year-old hearts. <laughs> Thank you for everything that you've done, Felix. Thank you to, to all the contributions you've made. Almost 4,000 videos, almost 23 billion video views, and now 100 million subscribers. Congratulations to you for that. Congratulations to you and Marcia for marrying. I'm excited to see what the post-marriage life will be like. Maybe kids in the future. Who knows what's going to happen. We won't know until we know. And at least we can document the way to that. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for, for existing in the time that we are right now. Even though you kind of didn't ask to be born, n none of us had a, had a choice in existing, but we do have a choice in, in what we do in our lives.
it's very inspirational to see Felix grow from from this you know young twenty year old creator to to what he is today. And I'm I'm wishing him and his family all of the best. And I'm wishing you all of the best as well. We are all in this together. Our brains might be alone inside our heads, but we are not alone. We are hundreds of millions, billions strong. And that's what we need to focus on. And I will see you all very, very soon. Stay tuned. Stay curious. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>